In this task, you'll use the QGIS Print Composer to prepare and export the maps of the lower 48 Alaska and Hawaii that you made and refined in labs 1 and 2. By using the Print Composer to export the maps, we can export the maps in a vector format which allows us to modify the individual features of the maps if needed. After we export the maps, we'll import the maps into Inkscape to compose our final map layout. So here I have QGIS Desktop open with the lower 48 states QGIS project. And to start a map composition, I'll go to the Project menu and choose New Print Composer. And I'll name this Lower 48 and click OK. So the Print Composer opens as a new window. And as we'll be producing our final map on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper in landscape orientation, we'll first set a few of the composition options and then add the map to the composition view. So on the right here is the composition tab. By default, it's set to a sheet size of A4, and I'm going to scroll down and change that to ANSI A letter 8.5 by 11. And I'm going to make sure the orientation is landscape and the export resolution is set to 300 dpi. Next, I'll click the Add New Map button, and I'll drag a box on the composition view. This creates a map view showing the lower 48 states. Now I'm going to do some work to make sure that this map fills the entire 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So with this map object selected, I'm going to switch to the Item Properties tab, which will then have properties of our map. And I'll expand this Position and Size section. And I'm going to set the X and Y values to 0 millimeters. That sets the map's origin in the upper left-hand corner of the map. Then I'll set the width to 279.4 and the height to 215.9. These properties set the map's origin to 0, 0, as I said, which is the top left corner of the page. And then the width and the height are set in millimeters, which is our page size. By setting these values, we're maximizing the size of our map on the page, filling the entire sheet of paper. Now we can resynchronize the extent with what we had set in QGIS. So I'm going to go to this Item Properties tab. I'm going to scroll up and click Set to Map Canvas Extent. This sets the map extent to match the extent we have in QGIS Desktop. Next, I'm going to set the scale to 1 to 18 million. The scale item is right here. I'm going to type in 18 million and hit Enter. If your map's still not quite centered, you can use this Move Item Content button to pan the map and center it in the frame. With the map composed how I'd like it, I'm now going to prepare it for export to PDF. And in thinking that I'm going to want this map to be imported into Inkscape where I'm going to finish it, I'm going to use the PDF format which is preferred for exporting vector data as the format preserves the vector data and doesn't rasterize it. And this allows for vector editing without the loss of quality of the data. So the property I need to change is the transparency and that will be on the composition tab. So I'm going to click this button for change next to page background. And I'm going to set transparency to 100% and click OK. I'll switch back to the items properties tab for my map, scroll down until I find the background item and uncheck that. Now I'll export it. I'll go to Composer, Export as PDF. I'll navigate to my lab directory. And I'll name this PDF Lower 48 States. And click Save. In the lab, you'll repeat this procedure for the Alaska and Hawaii maps. Then in Task 2, you'll learn the basics of using Inkscape vector editing.